Right, so we are off to Cheltenham to collect the Stig. So the Stig has been in the dealership in Land Rover for three and a half weeks. So why did we take the Stig into the dealership? So we got that funky, cool new activity key, which is basically a watch with a 433 megahertz transmitter. So it's basically a key fob, a remote control key fob, shrunk into a watch. And I thought that would be cool. So we bought it and um, it's something that you can't configure yourself. You've got to take it to the dealers because of car security and theft. You can't just walk up and add a new key to your car. So we thought we would do a video on the activity key adding it. And I wanted to do the video on how it worked and what it would do and how cool it was and stuff. But, <laughs> there's a but, right? So, I bought it from the dealer, um, a dealer in Bath, actually, the key that supplies us with, with a lot of the products that we sell. Um, and I bought the key, and you need to buy the new KVM module. So the KVM module is like the address book or the memory book for the keys, and it's got the list of who's on the address book. Now, once you've told it who's in the address book, the address book is sealed for life, that's it. It's like taped up and padlocked and you can't add or delete keys to it, as I understand it. So this is all my own made up understanding. Now, so we took it, to, so we had to buy the new KVM. So we took the new KVM. Now, we asked the dealership in Cheltenham if they were happy to add the activity key and they said, yeah, that's something they were happy to do. So we took it along and I might insert some video of when I took it there and dropped it on. So, so let me insert that video now and you can see me taking the car in. And there was some confusion as you'll see with the, with the app and which app I was using and putting it in service mode. But generally the guys were fairly helpful and it was supposed to be done as I wait. So right, let's watch that bit now. So yeah, we've been here an hour now, an hour and 10 minutes, and they've called me to say that I need to put the car into service mode. They do have to change the KVM. They've tried adding it without the KVM, but on the 20 model years, you're gonna have to. Um, and they said you can do it, for, I need to put it in from the remote app. Um, but obviously there's two remote apps, and I've got the new one, but I downloaded the old one, and I still can't see anything. Sorry, it's reflecting. I still can't see anything on on this one if I scroll, in terms of putting it into a mode where it's a service mode. So they're a little bit confused about that, but they're powering through and they're working through it. So let's see how they get on, but hopefully I can work out what it is you have to do so that if you guys need to go into your main dealer, there's a clearer thing because there's not actually anything published on the topics, which is the Land Rover workshop manual that tells you how to do it apparently. So. I think they're kind of working blind. So it'd be good if Land Rover could get a process or some documentation for the text to follow. So we will see. We will we will endeavour to work this out. Right, so we've now been here an hour and a half. They've just come to tell me they can't program the activity key. Now, the trouble is if they put that new KVM module on, which they have, that new KVM module for some reason won't see that activity key. Now, whether that activity key is faulty, don't know. Or whether it's just not the right process because obviously they don't think there's any written instructions on how to do this so they're trying to see if they can get another activity key other than that i guess i'm going to have to get someone to pick me up because if they program it for my car then it's then i've wasted another kvm module so then i'm i'm down the 120 pounds for the kvm module so i think we are gonna have to leave it here i'm gonna have to get the boss to come and pick me up in the Tesla and they're gonna to have to order another activity key and see how we do there so it the plot thickens a little we'll see right the boss is super busy and to be fair she came up with a good idea she said well, why don't you just put the old KVM back in uh, leave the new KVM open and the old KVM should work with the current keys so let's see if that at least gets me back so I can drive back and then we'll see They've ordered a new KVM and a new key. We'll come back tomorrow and see if we can get it going tomorrow. So the putting the old KVM back in didn't work. So they've ordered a new watt, a new wristband and a new KVM. And they're gonna try it tomorrow morning. 
Meanwhile, the boss has got to come and pick me up. <laughs> I've got to walk into the centre of Cheltenham so she can come and collect me. So not a totally successful day and we're still not sure what's happened. Uh, let's wait for tomorrow, see whether it can be done and see if there's any tricks and tips that we can learn. Right, so where does that bring us? So we, we so they, they then rang me the next day and said, um, yeah, we're going to order, we, we were going to order you a new key, but there's no keys in stock at the moment. There's a bit of a lead time on the key. So it's going to be like a week before we can get you another key. So I'm like, all right. So then a week goes by and then they ring me and go, ah, there's no keys yet. It's going to be another week before we can get you a key. So a week goes by and they say, key should have been in today, but it will be in tomorrow. So I'm like, okay, because I'm starting to miss the car now. I'm getting withdrawal symptoms from the Stig. He's part of my life. He's part of the family, isn't he, Tyler? Yeah. Tyler isn't. The Stig yeah. is. Um, so we're like, okay. And uh, so give me a call tomorrow and let, let me know. So they gave me a call the next day and said, right, it's not good news. The, the key, um, and actually they'd ordered two because the first key didn't work, as, as you probably gathered there. The first key didn't, they couldn't program it to the car. So, um, so I said, we'll order two just in case they're faulty. So they ordered two, but none of them arrived. And they basically said, and now the system, where before it's telling them like in a week or two weeks it'll be here, now the system sort of says, no, no visibility of when they're gonna be here. So the ones that were visible have gone invisible. Now, I will give thanks out to Mr. Skywalker at head office. He jumped on it too and he tried to locate an activity key, um, but there are no activity. And I don't want special treatment. I want to be treated like any other customer, but he, he did try and help me, which I do appreciate. So basically the dealership in Cheltenham, let's see if my cruise control works here. So I'm on the adaptive cruise control. We've got radar lock. We've got the cruise control set to 17. Uh, I'll go on to the sport in a minute. So, ooh. He's getting a bit frisky there. Right, I'll slow him down. Right. So, they then rang me yesterday and said, look, we, we can't get this key. The key's not happening. Um, we are just going to have to take your new KVM that you've provided um, because the original one on the car is, is now where they coded the keys to the new KVM. Um, the, uh, the keys are now uncoded from the old KVM. So they've just put the new KVM I provided them in, which stands for keyless vehicle module or something. They've had to put that one in and now they've locked it. So it's padlocked, locked for life. And when I say padlocked, I don't mean physically, I mean like electronically, softwarely. So, so we are now three and a half weeks in. It's, it's gonna cost me some labor. I don't know, we'll see what bill they give me. Um, so we're going to be down some money, down three and a half weeks, and I'm actually no further ahead, and I'm a KVM module down, which is disappointing, but I won't give up. But I will say that the Cheltenham dealership have been supported. They did offer me a higher car, but as you guys know, we've got more than one car. So it seemed unfair on other customers for us to take uh, Land Rover. We'd have to go on there to collect it and stuff. Anyway, the good news from all of this is, and we're driving to the dealership now, so I'm just chit-chatting. We have had good fun with this sport, haven't we, Tyler? We have had three weeks where I can't get distracted by my Defender, which everyone at work's like, thank goodness for that, because you're just on that car all the time. And I do love the Defender, but you, you guys know that. So we have actually fallen back in love with our L494. We have put the SVR body kit on. We after doing the video the body kits just completely sold out didn't they Tyler yeah. and we did have them available before but just doing the video and showing people how easy it was so we have now taxed this April the 1st today should I be worried about April Fool's Day should I I don't know is this all a joke <laughs> anyway it's um, so luckily we're gonna get the Defender back for the Easter weekend which will be nice we've been playing with the sport Tyler loves the sport now what we've now got to decide is assuming the defenders all nice and going and no problem Tyler is which car are you going to drive back is it going to be the V8 supercharged five litre sport and how old are you Tyler I'm 21 21 do we want a 21 year old driving such a beast or do I let him 
do I let him drive my new Defender, which is part of the family? So we'll have to we'll have to work that one out. End up being neither. Yeah, I was, yeah. There. <laughs> so we'll see what happens with that. There you go. So keep watching, right? So I think when we join you again, we are going to be at the dealership. Let's see what they've got to say in terms of what their opinion of the story is. Now, actually, I will waffle on a bit more. Um, so why why are why did I get the the last activity key in the country did i really get the last key in existence are, are you guys ordering new cars are you specking that and i suggest you if you want an activity key i suggest to save yourself a world of pain you perhaps order one when you order the car now there are some people saying that the 2021 defenders you can add an activity key apparently the kvm module has like two address books, one for normal keys and one for activity keys. And you may be able to just at the dealership add it without changing the KVM module, which would be really good. But I've got the 2020 Defender, so that might be different, but it should still be possible. Um, where was I going, my waffling Tyler? So keys, that's where I was going. So is, are there a problem with these keys? I mean, it seems more than coincidence that my key didn't work, brand new genuine key and that they haven't got any more all of a sudden and they did have visibility but then they is it because there is a problem now i did i did hear a rumor now it may be true it may be not true that they are having problems with these um at dealerships but but again i'm not sure if that's really the case or not so we have yet to see if if anyone knows anything about activity keys have you ordered an activity key with your car and it not worked or it's had problems let us know right let's get on to the we're heading down into Cheltenham now so let's go and see the guys at Heritage and see what they say right here we are slightly windy Cheltenham service centre there's the stick baby where have you been so what have they done we've got a bill here so we can see hopefully it's not too windy so they carry out programming activation key and installing the KVM module they are unable to as the activity key faulty it requires a new key and then it, the customer was may opted to use a new kvm to get the car back up and running as the activity key crashed the car there you go that's a bit wild isn't it tyler so they were very good though they haven't charged me any labor at all for that because obviously um i've but what they've charged me for is another kvm so the car arrived with a kvm all working and the two keys they then reprogram these keys to the new kvm that i provided but when they tried to pair the activity key to that new kvm it crashed it crashed the car so they had to buy a new kvm so we're on kvm number three and i've got two keys one back to square one but the guys have been very reasonable they offered me a car they've done it all for free which is sort of understandable but likewise they haven't made any money out of that um, they've literally just charged me for the kvm so i think that's most reasonable i'm not disappointed and they've been most helpful so yeah we need to obviously we've got a key on back order i will order two keys this time so that we've got double the chance and i guess we'll come back here and give them the chance to make some money so right then tyler go on you can choose tyler which car are you driving home sport sport right he's got the sport i'm in the defender i'm having some of those easter eggs out of the car first though all right let's go so right i've I've beaten Tyler back, even though he's got the Range Rover Sport. So he's back now, but I did beat him back. So I was, I was wondering, where did he get to? So at one point, so what I did was I opened up the app because we got the app installed uh, and I, I can see the stick and I can see his journey details. And he did some random route. He missed the, I think he was enjoying himself too much and he missed the turn off. But I just wanted to show you how the app can be used in real life. So I can zoom in and he missed the junction on the motorway here and he he had to go down to the next junction on the motorway and do a u-turn so i can obviously see what miles per gallon and speed he was driving but that's quite cool fun right so we've got the defender back so a couple of things i wanted to show you she drives a dream absolutely perfect so obviously the key things are a little frustrating but i'm sure land rover will get that sorted um i wanted to do it i will get it sorted so no one else goes through the pain so if i go through it so Here's the old KVM, here's the old KVM modules that they've taken out. And I know that's the, because look, I'll put some orange paint on it just so that I know if it had been changed or not. So that's the original one they took out. And then this one here is the second one 
that they put in um, that they had to to fry so that one's been fried so I'm going to see if these can be reprogrammed to be virginal again I think there's somewhere on the internet you can send them off and they clear the memory and unlock them so you can use them again um, so I will try and get those done that way again you guys won't have to do this you guys should just take it into Land Rover and it should be fine and there's the dodgy activity key that isn't working for some reason right so we've got all that so the activity key's given us a headache so that has set me in a couple of directions because whenever I hit a challenge or a roadblock I always like to look at other options so there's two other options I'm going to look at I'm not going to cover them in the video but I will mention them and let me know in your comments below what you think so first one is there is an Apple watch the boss has got an Apple watch and we've started to play with it but there's a whole feast of pain associated with there isn't there George I've got George helping and I'll go into that in a separate video because it's going to make this video wild so we are going to look at the Apple watch app and and could you use that as an alternative because a lot of people are going to have the Apple watch on them anyway why, why wear two watches why have an activity key watch and an Apple watch right so we'll look at that and then the other thing is we are going to look at is there some what am I going to say, unofficial way of adding an activity key. So we've tried the official route. Um, is there a slightly unofficial way? I'm going to leave this video there for now. That's it. I'm out. But look out for the video on the Apple Watch. I'll do that next. All right. Good luck.